one mom wants. Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let us pray. Please kneel. Our collect for purity. Ooh. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Christ our Lord. Amen. We will proceed with our Decalogue, this first celebration of the Ten Commandments in Advent for this church, St. Patrick's Anglican Church. God spake these words, remain kneeling the Decalogue on page 68 and said I am the Lord thy God thou shalt have none other gods before me Lord have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law well, you see italics you'll say but along with me thou shalt not make to thyself any graven image nor the likeness of anything that is in heaven above or in the earth beneath, or in the water under the earth, thou shalt not bow down to them, nor worship them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, and visit the sins of generation, visit the sins of the Father upon the children of the third and fourth generation of them, that hate me, and show mercy unto thou thousands in them that love me, and keep my commandments. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will hold him guiltless that taketh his name. He will not take him, will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. And, 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 and Lord have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. Remember that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. Six days shalt thou labor, and do all that thou hast to do. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God, and that thou shalt do no manner of work. Thou and thy son, and thy daughter, thy manservant and thy maidservant, thy cattle and the stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, is and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hath hallowed it. Get on your knees. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. Put the ducky on the couch. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long in the land which the Lord thy God given, give, giveth thee. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt do no murder. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt not steal. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. 
Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife nor his servant, nor his maid, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is his. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write all these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. David, would you please get that out of his room, wash his hands, and bring him to the couch. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Now you. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our prayer for our hearts and bodies. Almighty Lord and everlasting God, vouchsafe, we beseech thee to direct, sanctify, and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of thy laws and in the works of thy commandments that through thy most mighty protection sit down on the couch. Both here and ever we may be preserved in body and soul to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Sit down right here. Right here. Come on, sit down right there. Go ahead. Sit on the couch. Couchy couch. Go ahead. <laughs> the Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Okay. Our collect of the day. Page 92 has our collect of the day. Blessed Lord, blessed Lord, who has caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant that we may, in such wise, hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by patience and comfort of thy holy word, we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which thou hast given us in our Savior Jesus Christ. The first reading is from Romans chapter 15, starting at verse 4. Whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded toward one another according to Christ Jesus, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, receive ye one another, as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Now, I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers, and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, For this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles, and sing unto thy name. And again he saith, Rejoice! ye Gentiles, with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and laud him, all ye people. And again, Isaiah, or Isaiah saith, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles. In him shall the Gentiles trust. Now, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Here ends the epistle reading. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our 
gospel asks you to stand, everyone. Our gospel is located in the 21st chapter of the book of St. Luke, beginning verse 25 for your Bibles, and uh, right here on page 93 of the 1928 Book of Common Prayer. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Stand up in the back there. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that last summer, that summer is, this summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things, come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh and at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all fulfill, heaven and earth, shall pass away. But my words shall not pass away. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to thee, thee O oh Christ. Christ. Hmm. Please be seated and participate in our Nicene Creed, which is the continuing liturgy of our word on page 71. Uh, actually, can we, well, actually, uh, I'm actually saying that the autistic people can sit. We stand for the Nicene Creed. Oh, after the risk of sermon. No, that's afterwards. Let's stand. Autistic people can be seated. I believe in one God, the uh, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God, a very God, Irish twins, begotten, not made, being of one, one substance, substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. Hello, hello, hello. It's the second second week of what? Advent. Advent. What is Advent? Advent is the preparation before. It takes one month before Christ comes. It begins right after the Sunday, right after Thanksgiving. During that time, you think of what Christmas means. A Christmas tree. The gospel says a fig tree. Oh my gosh, a fig tree. Anybody ever think of decorating a fig tree? We have a Christmas tree, and that's okay, because that means life and rebirth. So does the Christmas wreath. All of this stuff came out of the Christian tradition. Christ is coming, and he's going to be born. Just like when we were waiting for baby Milo. 
biggest thing in my life was waiting for baby Joya. It seemed like she would take forever over there. Hello over there, baby Joya. She's still a baby. And these two big babies and their brother, James. And this big baby here seemed like she took mom forever. Felt like you were going to take forever to come to mom. But we also end our lives. It also becomes late in life. And not only do we die, but guess what happens? The world as we know it changes. And the gospel, when you say it's time for the gospel, and everybody stands up, and I come to them, and I do the reading. Mom or the lector does not do the reading, and it's the priest. That's the gospel part. Those are the words that Jesus spoke, and which were about him, written by the four evangelists. The four personal friends of Jesus, two of them never met him, two of them did, but two or three of them met him, actually. Uh, Luke through Paul, you could say. Maybe they appeared to him. Okay, but anyway, Christ is going to come again. Not as a baby this time, but he's going to come as a, on, a, on a, he's going to come on a white horse. And that's what the gospel is talking about. And that's what the epistle today, that these things were written a long time ago for our learning. Anything that you need is in Scripture, is in the Bible. Anything in life is written way before you, and billions of people lived on this earth before you and I ever did. And back, way back, way back, way back, it wasn't even for our, kind, our people, Gentiles. It was for what is part of us, part of us, some of us, Jewish. Just for the Jews, and it widened out to the Gentiles meaning people who were never Jews, Irish, Celtic, Italian, like St. Patrick, who was, who was, who was Celtic, Chinese, Chinese Indian. Asian, Indians, right, 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 everybody. But everybody's going to lose this world as we know it. And there'll be a terrible time of tribulation and fires, loss of everything and anything you could ever think of, anything your minds could ever think of or you could be taught. You unlearn and you find out the truth. When you're so pure, you're capable of actually seeing God. Seeing God, which is the truth. The big truth is so scary. It turned Moses' head white. His hair went white. Bing, just like that. In, 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 uh, in the Bible. And in, ex, in uh, Deuteronomy. And uh, what it's going to do to us is we need, we still can't handle all that truth. That's what revelation means, the revealing of the truth. So you're going to find out all the things that you always wanted to know are going to happen when Jesus comes back. And you're either going to have died already, you're going to be there as, a, uh, as one of the saints, or one of the martyrs. You might lose your life, you might do what's right, you might stand up for Mikey, you might stand up for Mom or Milo, or Dave or Ben or David Ben and do for you, and you become a martyr and you die for Christ. You die for what's right. And that's what this is talking about. When you're very, very, very old and mom and I are already dead, or when you're, when, when, it might happen, might happen when you're still young. But Christ comes again and changes this whole world. And changes this whole world. He comes back. And even though it's summertime, this is the summer of our life, it says in the gospel, the winter of death will come to all of us and the death of this world, even though Christ is born again. So we don't forget joy. Uh, I named my first child Joya, because it was about joy, and I never forgot to have joy. Never forgot. Don't ever forget about having fun in your love for Jesus and for each other, because that's very important. There's a whole city, well, it's a town in Italy, named Joya Sanitica, but they named it after the saints. So my daughter's name is Joyous, and the rest of her name is Light, Joyous Light, Lucia, and Sanitica is Saints, which is the full name of the village after which I named her. But this is St. Patrick's Anglican Church, and we're going to do witness to the Irish part, because I'm mostly Irish, as is my family. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But we're going to move on and enjoy our Christmas and decorate our Christmas tree. Everybody at home in their homes will do the same. Now, okay.
Can we please have a, a collection? Receive, we beseech thee, O Lord, the sacrifice of appeasement and praise, and accept these offerings of servants and handmaidens reconciled ad pacem. Here comes the money. Yay, the money is coming. Okay. Sermon now is officially over. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Offertory begins. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, how he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. You sit down now. Amen. Praise God for whom all stand up. Blessings come. Praise the lowly church near below. Praise him all of the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy. Please kneel. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church or any other adversity in your lives. Almighty and ever living God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy nature may agree to the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee only, also, so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. We're on page 74. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly and beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity especially especially uh, Grandma Sharon who has broken her arm and is recovering the father of Michael Hitchborn who died a few days ago in the nighttime and uh, teachers and friends and their parents who are going through trouble now with unemployment workers police officers corrections officers family with autistic members security guards, and every kind of worker, and we, and especially on the front lines. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them may, we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate, Amen. 
ye who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways to draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God devoutly kneeling Almighty God, our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed, by thought, word, and deed, against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Let us stay kneeling and hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul saith. This is a true saying and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John saith. If any man may sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for Ooh, our sins. My peace, my is... Our sursum corda, our dialogue with one another, about Jesus. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee. O Lord, Holy Father Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, our Sanctus, therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we loud and magnify thy glorious name evermore, praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Amen. I have All glory to be to thee, <laughs> Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again for in the night in which he was betrayed he took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to his apostles saying take eat do this in my body which is given you. Do this in remembrance of me. 
Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, ye all of this, for this is my blood. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. <laughs> Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee. The memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with the word and spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept us our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy holy thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, our bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most, the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction and made one body with them, that he may dwell in us and we in him, and although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses for Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee. O Father Almighty, world, without end. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our prayer for humble access, join with me. We do not presume. It's on page 82, our prayer for humble access. We do, do not, not presume to come to this, to this table, table, O merciful Lord, Lord trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and grace mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our soul washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. <clears throat> Let's all together sing our Agnes Day. O Lamb of God, 
that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Only The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given to thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart and by faith. With okay. <laughs> the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for thee, and be thankful. <laughs> body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul on an everlasting Put your life. Hands together. Amen. Hands together. Oh, this way. No, in a cup. There you go. No. Come here. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul on an everlasting life. Tip your head. Okay. Amen. Amen. body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul in an everlasting life. Say amen. amen. <laughs> the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul in an everlasting life. <laughs> <laughs> the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is given to thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Say more, say more. I think she has to. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Preserve thy body and soul on everlasting life. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul on everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. Say it together on page 83. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for that thou dost vouchsafe to feed us who have duly received these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, thy Son our Savior Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate of the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and that are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of his most precious death and passion. And we humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, those who assist, assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the God, with whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. <coughs> Our Gloria in Excelsis. Glory be to God on high and on earth, peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee. We glorify thee, we give thee thanks thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Us thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou art our holy, Thou only art the Lord, Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Please kneel. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen. Our service has ended. Thanks be to God. By terrible things in righteousness wilt thou answer us, O God of our salvation who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth, and of them that are afar off upon the sea, which by his strength set it fast the mountains, being girded with power, which still at the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves, and the tumult of the people. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid at thy tokens. Thou makest the outgoings of the morning and evening to rejoice. Thou visitest the earth and waterest it. Thou greatly enrichest it with the river of God, which is full of water, Thou preparest them corn when thou hast so provided for it. Thou waterest the ridges thereof abundantly. Thou settest the furrows thereof. Thou makest it soft with showers. Thou blessest the springing thereof. 
Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy paths drop fatness. They drop upon the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy. They also sing. <laughs> 